Let's go. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die TV of Gaming, jumping back into our duo series. Now, we learned in the last episode that this axe is kind of a little too OP. We're not going to be able to use it during Horde Night. And honestly, I just, I just won't use it during Horde Night because it won't, it'll won't. it break our base. But also, it's a little too OP. We might need to add some more zombie mods on here. I think Hawks got got during the nighttime, so his death count is up one more, up to seven. Mine's at two. Game Shade, 73 and 70. I'm doing a little bit of building, so we're catching up. I'm actually getting a little bit ahead for once on game stage there. Kills pretty close to each other. Doing pretty good overall. Hopefully we can continue this trend. We're going to go knock out a couple more missions so we can continue to have the next trader revealed to us. We'll work on that. I did get a new rifle yesterday, which is this really cool. It is a, what is it called? An Ameli machine gun. It looks pretty wicked. It's a level 5 too, which is really cool. I'm going to see if our mods from the other one will go on to this one. Let's see. I take all these off. One, two, three, four. And we go with this, and we go modify, and we go one, two, three, four. We can put almost all of them on. This one can have that one back. There you go. There you go. Looking pretty good. All right, we'll definitely test this out. I haven't really played with it just yet, but we'll definitely get it tested out a little. It sounds amazing. I don't know how good it's going to be. We'll have to see, because I can't really tell how much damage we're doing if I'm even hitting. Because the range on it's not going to be that good. There you go. Definitely got it there. But all right, we'll kind of play with it. It's basically, a, it looks like a like an M60 or a saw. So we'll kind of have to see how it works. But all right, let's get into the adventure. We got missions to do. We got to get back and do some horde base building, and I'll show you that on the way out as well. Your areas. Oh, it's one of those. I'll oh, click clear. Not easy. Oh, it's not great. I'm already having issues with my broken leg. <laughs> Just forever broken leg. Yep. Oh, this is an up one. It is. Uh, got one down here. Nice. Just got a. Uh... Bellows for the forge you just made. Nice. There we go. Oh, done. Yep. Turn to trader. Uh, not my mission, and then yours. Or then the trader. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, we don't need roads, we just go through wherever we want. I was saying at the beginning, I definitely can't use it during the Horde night because we'll break everything, but... Yeah, I know. There's no way. <laughs> uh, Did murder the entire base. Oh, am I already... I already have my quest selected. This way. Curious what, which trade they're going to try and send us to next. All right, you want to come this way? Digger. What's up, Digger? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> we'll wait there on you. you. Go. Got a couple tires. What'd I get there? Vehicle off road light. Most rampant. Absolute. Oh. Did you know those explode if you break them? Yes. I did not. <laughs> that was entirely new information. <laughs> I did not know that. Ew, you can shoot him and blow him up too. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I know. I didn't know that at all. I've never broken him down before. Never been able to. I mean, not easily, I mean. <laughs> not without thinking about it. <laughs> Something. All right, heading back. Nice, easy tier one missions. It'd be fun to run yeah. through like the, you know, was it Higashi Tower or whatever it's called, with this oh, axe. Yeah, <laughs> that would be amazing. I'd like to take Just this good axe. armor. I want this axe back in Darkness Falls. Oh, I'll do I business with you long as you're not a waste. Me, I do. I really do. Oh, he finally gave me five, five, six. Seven. Ah, uh, more pipe bombs. Got a couple tires. That's nice. I'll take, the, I'll take the mining. You want to go ahead and do the one more and get them done? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. 
reburied supplies and if there's on this job for you. Good luck with that. You not so uh, you're not interested. I, all I have is clear zombies. Again. Closest one I got is one twenty eight house old modular five. Oh yeah, we got a duck up top. Yep. Where's your arrow to select it? Oh, I missed her like six times. <laughs> Away, wreck it, Ralph. No one likes you. <laughs> You're kind of wild with that axe. How we do it, man? Right. Going on up. Oh shit! I what? hit the ladder. <laughs> That's right, there's one that just fell down. Little guy? Don't worry about that little guy. Oh, glass, gotcha. In my way. Oh, I got that weird rifle again. Random foods. Uh, yep, got another melee machine gun. Books. All right, was that it for that mission, or we got more? That's it. Nice. Me out. That's too crazy. <laughs> Just come busting out. That's the best twice. part. <laughs> yeah. It is. Just hit Kool Aid Man wherever you want. Clear the other rally point. I think we've done this one a couple times. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Let's do it. This should be the explodey one. One of the exploded ones. <laughs> Poor dog. Oh, my leg. Keep calling my poor leg. I've seen that one before. Let's see what it was. Got a HK rifle. Nice. Nice. All right. The real question is, where is the next trader? <laughs> where is it gonna send us? I don't think I want to know. If it's north. I'm. I'm done. I'm quitting. <laughs> West, we're good, cause then we can get oil shield, and make a shot load more gas. I have a feeling we've been everywhere else. North's got to be our wasteland. It has to be. Or it could be to the west. I don't know. My guess is west is going to be. Yeah, we've been pretty centralized. <sighs> Looking for something. What you got, Hugh? Uh, I don't need any of these things. Got to be. Don't let this go to your Because north of us is gr uh, grasslands, so I think. I don't know. West is either desert. Special jobs, Big trade routes, tier I've two. Job for you. Well, Trader Joel to the northwest. That's just back where we were. No yeah. Think you're pretty so it looks like now. third town. We got to mm. go find a town. So I'll honor our agreement. We're going to have to actually find a new town. <laughs> Bundle, farm bundles. All right. Can pull this off. I'll take care of it. No, I don't need a job. I'm good. Inventory. What do you got for inventory? <laughs> yeah, I haven't really looked at this stuff at all. Crossbow bolts. I'll take those. 
Keep jumping, man. That's going to help. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I know. It's so bad. It's unavoidable. You can't not do it. And I'm not really jumping. I'm more so sprinting, but... <laughs> I just, if I could just not touch it for 14 minutes, it'd be over. All right, so town-wise, we've been all the way down this way. I think we just need to, like, while I build up the base, if you want to drive way to the east or way to the west and see if there's a town. You're right out west. Yeah, that's a good idea. West or north? Uh, well, we've been from north. That's true. If you want to head that way, you definitely can, but... Now go west. I do. <laughs> Nothing going on. Yeah. It sounded convincing. <laughs> I knocked down the big old uh, board over here. All right, guys, so we're going to do a little bit of base upgrading. We're kind of playing around with the axe a little bit. We are definitely realizing that the axe is just a little bit too OP. This series is probably not going to go too much longer. I think we're going to go another three to six days or so, depending on how the next horde or two goes. We'll just kind of go from there and maybe do something fun as like a, a final challenge for this one. The legendary weapons are very cool. The auger is insane. They're definitely awesome, but it does a little bit make it a little bit too easy. I think the god mode weapons are just a little bit too much, so we'll probably back off from those a little bit. I definitely won't use it during the horde, although I still want to try out the legendary shotgun or the legendary, what's it, there's a legendary AK, whichever one it is that we get into over the next several days, but we're going to figure out how to kind of make this into just a little jumping one, just kind of make the zombies take their time so we can throw molotovs and shoot them as they come up, and it should be pretty easy. These guys ragdoll really well, so if I can get a little landing spot for our actual junk turret, then we're going to be good to go. Of course, i got to see if I can make a junk tour. I haven't checked that yet. But we'll, we'll get that done. I've got the cool little, uh, what do you call them, like little shelf-looking things right here. And then I'm just going to build a spot for them to kind of get up here. And we'll kind of work with them from there. But it's going to be kind of a, sh a short end of this video. It's going to be a really short video because I'm kind of doing this later on. And we just had a little bit of dental surgery. So I'm having a little bit of trouble talking. So it's going to be kind of a quick one. But uh, hopefully you guys can still understand me okay, and we'll uh, get through this quick build thing. But yeah, the axe, a little bit too OP. I definitely agree. I know I saw a comment in the last video that said hey, the axe is just a little too much. It, makes, it kind of takes away the challenge. It definitely is. We're having a little bit of fun with it. I think after Darkness Falls, we needed a little bit of steam blow off because we were absolutely getting wrecked from all the stuff that was going on there. But yeah, we'll, we'll definitely throw that away soon, or we'll go ahead and just move on to another playthrough. Uh, we got some things different planned. We talked about a couple other different games that would be a lot of fun for like a duo series. And then maybe go back both into our own solo seven days to die thing and then come back to this later on. So we'll, we'll figure all that out. It's something we got to work on. I've had an immensely um, awesome time working with Hawks and we'll continue to do that in the future. But let's see how this kind of works out. So we're going to try and get some upgrades done today too. I'm going to try and get all of this to cement if we have enough stuff for this. And then, like I said, we are going to do the junk turret. Just got done talking with Hawks. Sounds like he's got the materials that we need to make the junk turret. And then I just need to upgrade myself far enough into the whatever the electrical engineer, whatever it is, robotics so we can actually control one or two of them. If we could do two, that'd be awesome, but if it's just one, that's fine too. But I was kind of, I don't know which one of these little, hopefully this board doesn't keep us too far back from it, but I'm hoping this will give us just enough distance where we can sit here and swing at them when they do get up. Although they shouldn't get up here too much because we're gonna be able to hit them a lot while they're just jumping up and down on that wall over there. We've used this kind of horde base several times in vanilla and on a couple of modded playthroughs. It is definitely very, very effective, but we'll work on it. Gotta get everything up to cement at least, so that way they're not breaking through, especially with some of the crazier zombies that come a little bit later on. We'll have it all upgraded up to cement at least. Hopefully. <laughs> That's the goal. And we have plenty of cement. So I just got to make sure I don't use too much because we're going to need it for the next horde too. Next horde, we got to move to a different town. So right now, the reason why I'm doing this voiceover afterwards is because Hawks is actually out there looking for the next town. He's way, way, way to the north and looking for the next town that we're going to go to. And I think he's going to end up in a desert town. I don't remember for sure. But I'm pretty sure it's a desert town up there. But there you go. Starting to look kind of good over here. This one's going to definitely be good once we get this last bit of stuff done. And I just got to figure out how to put this junk turret up. I just need like a little landing for it. So we'll sit there and hit them. But it's also got to be close enough to me where I'm on the roof over there. So we'll figure this out. But uh, And then also I'm kind of worried that the little one up, one up, one down. If they're feral, I don't remember if they run across those two blocks like that. So we might have to change that in the future too. But get the, this to where it's like a couple blocks up. Want them to be able to make sure for sure that they can get up. Also, this nail gun is part of the legendary tools as well. It upgrades like so fast that if you have all the materials on you, you're going to waste a lot of materials. So be very careful. If you ever use this mod and you mess with it, it could definitely cause some issues. But uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully that's going to work okay. There you go. There's a quick test of it. Let them come all the way up here. 
I need you to hop over and see they're going slow like that, but I'm just worried when they're if she turns into or if she's a feral, is she gonna run so fast that it's not gonna that she's not gonna go up and down like that? That's the only thing I'm worried about. Other than that, I think it works pretty well. Yeah, she definitely got wrecked. Cool. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Let me fast forward through just a little bit more of upgrades and we'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, we chopped down just a little bit more iron. So we're gonna upgrade this all the way to cement as well. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a roof over us as well. We didn't get a lot of flying birds this last time or any kind of flying zombies or anything. And a few of the guys jumping in, but really didn't have to worry about it too much. So I'm hoping it's gonna be about the same there. So we'll do the same. I'll get a few, like just basically like a little frame put in here with some bars over the top. And then we'll kind of go from there. And I think that should keep us pretty safe, at least for, you know, just inside this horde. I don't think it's gonna be a big issue because I don't, like I said, I don't remember seeing many of the zombie birds or the vultures at all in the last one so hopefully it keeps going like that but let's get all this upgraded there you go and hopefully i can still reach through there just fine i don't think they're gonna jump to the side i can put some bars there just in case but as long as you're not standing to the side the little spider guys won't jump to the side we'll go ahead and throw something back here back here oh wrong one uh i think my measurements are off it is definitely off <laughs> my bad there you go our measurements are, oh because that centerpiece wasn't that big all right and then we'll go out like that Boom. And then I'll just put a little railway, or not rails, but the bars up on top of this one just to keep it somewhat safe. There you go. A couple more of those. And then we will need some bars. There you go. And boom. There you go. And then we'll upgrade that all the way to cement as well. And then we'll go back and throw some bars in the middle. And then it should be good to go. And this is kind of a little fighting position. It's not much, but we're kind of learning with this mod pack that we don't have to go as crazy as we did with darkness falls where we can kind of get away with relying on the fact that the ragdoll is really serious and that they uh that they're just not quite as strong so i don't know i think that's pretty good uh that's yeah, bars are under the shapes we know that get some shapes going and go hopefully that's enough and then we'll change this to bar all right bar uh we're under the wrong one boom rotate this guy and come on come on come on there we go and we'll just throw that away around so it's like five five by five nice it's not too bad so 25 which is exactly how many we made i think so that should work out perfect and then we'll upgrade that one and then we're good to go fighting position is pretty much ready man so i think we'll finish out upgrading this and then we'll probably end the episode there and call it good definitely not too bad definitely getting a lot of things done yep upgrade all that and push it all the way to cement. Plus, we're getting some nice XP from this, too. And look how quick it upgrades with this freaking legendary nail gun. This thing is so good. The legendary nail gun, the legendary auger, and then the legendary shotgun is the one that we're going to have for the fight, I hope. So that's what we should have. There you go, man. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I'll probably upgrade below us just to be safe, but that's pretty much it, man. Let's, let's get to the end here. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it out there. So we kind of did up the horde base. I might just kind of show you guys a little bit of that and fast forward through it while we talk about it. But basically, we're going to use like kind of an old AFK horde base idea and use the junk turret right there on the edge. So it'll just continually knocking them down. I think that'll be okay, depending on how fast they come. And then we have lots of Molotovs and rounds will be just fine. If it gets really dicey, we can break out the axe. We just got to be careful because we end up doing that to the base over and over again, which we obviously don't want to do. But we'll figure all that out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Huge shout out to the patrons. Huge shout out to you for checking this video. If you made it to the end, you're my MVP. Thank you so much. Thanks.